Good morning, folks. Good morning, indeed. Gary here from GBL, the old church five-acre homestead. Do you know what day it is? It is Friday again. Don't these Fridays creep up on us? It only seems like a couple of days ago it was Friday, and here we are, it's Friday again. Not only that, this is the last Friday of March, and it is the last day of March. Tomorrow will be April. Isn't that something? Isn't that grand? Before we go any further, take a look at my hat. Look at my hat. Make America great again. I would qualify that and say, let's make North America great again. Let's make Canada, the USA, and Mexico, North America, a great, great continent. A continent that would be the envy of the world, folks. That's our goal going forward. A great hat, and I love it. Uh, this hat was a political slogan, I do believe, for Mr. Trump. And before that, President Reagan used a very similar slogan back in 1980. So that's my hat today that I'm donning. I hope you like it. I hope you like my new camo hat. It matches my camo shirt that I have on today. Today is Friday, and we do our usual our usual weekly chore. I have my garbage here ready to go. And look on top of this one. I have a special, special envelope here that I want you to take a look at. Look at that. I'm gonna talk to you about that. Miss Betty and Mr. Gary, we won another prize. Yes, indeed. We did, we entered a contest for this uh, YouTube channel and have it spilled. Mr. Gary and Miss Betty, we won the prize. So I'm gonna share that with you in this video very, very soon. But folks, as always, on Friday, we have to get our garbage out to the curb. So join me for that. Okay, so there's our garbage containers today. Folks, we have two today. Let me move that envelope over to the bonnet of my truck. That's going to be there for safekeeping because we're going to be talking about that very, very soon. And let's get those garbage containers out to the curb. Okay, join me with this one. Folks, the temperature today is a bombing five degrees which is uh, five degrees celsius which is i do think around 41 41.5 degrees fahrenheit correct me if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but i do think that's the conversion and that's correct here's one garbage container out to the curb okay let's me let me go back let me go back and get the second one okay here's garbage container number two let's get this one ready and put this one out next to his buddy Miss Betty did some spring cleaning uh, in the last few days. That's why we have two containers uh, today to put out to the curb for Mr. Garbage Man. Okay, so let's get that one out there. I'll put that one next to his buddy. So there we go. And I do believe we also, there's the garbage, do, there's the two garbage containers. And I do think we also have a bag because Mr. Gary did a little bit of cleaning in my garage. Here's the bag as well. So let's get this bag out to the curb. Okay, and that's our garbage folks for Friday, March the 31st. Now, let's get back and have a look at that envelope. What's inside that envelope that Miss Betty and Mr. Gary won in a YouTube contest? I wanna share it with you folks. I'm quite excited actually to share the contents of this envelope with you. This envelope, right here let's go inside my garage and we're going to open this up and share the contents in this envelope together uh before i began opening up the envelope and sharing with you the prize that miss betty and i won as we uh from the contest that we entered on youtube i thought it best that we explore the actual youtube channel the channel name is called groundskeeper cody and cody as a beautiful beautiful channel he is just starting off he currently has 90 videos he has 456 subscribers uh, before we get into sharing some of his videos i want to go in and explore his his channel description and here it is okay so here's cody's uh, channel description folks we're so grateful for all of the support we've received on our journey to live sustainably and make a difference in the modern world. We couldn't do it without our amazing community. If you want to continue to follow our farm life, learn more about sustainable living, organic gardening, homemade food recipes, homesteading, business strategies, and much more, 
we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be sharing new videos every week, and we're excited to have you join us on this journey. Thank you for your support. It means the world to us. Okay, so here's Cody and his wife and their daughter up in the corner here. Okay, so Miss Betty and I, we are friends with Cody. We've been friends for quite a while, actually. And, and uh, uh, we entered this contest and actually won a prize, and I'm going to share that with you very, very soon. But I want to go back now and look at some of Cody's videos and share them with you. So Cody, as I said, he currently has 90 videos and Cody, Cody's channel is growing. Mr. Gary and Miss Betty, we've watched a few of Cody's videos uh, currently. So here's some of them. Uh, from cutting to container, the year-long journey uh, of my snake plant. So there you go, that's one of his videos. Uh, from my garden to yours, packing heirloom seeds for sale and gardening. So there you go. Okay, starting uh, growing your own vegetables, starting tomato, peppers. So Cody's channel is pretty much a gardening, homesteading uh, kind of channel. Lots and lots of gardening type videos with lots and lots of great advice. Uh, Cody is also into preserving. So you can see some of his videos on that. He shares a lot of great recipes involving herbs and spices, as you can see right here now. So folks, if you haven't done so, please uh, share some love with Mr. Cody on his YouTube channel, Groundskeeper Cody. Miss Betty and Mr. Gary, we would appreciate you doing that. Without any further ado, let's unbox or open the envelope and share with you the contents from the prize that we won very recently from visiting uh, Groundskeeper Cody's YouTube channel. Folks, here is the prize that we won. So Mr. Gary here, folks, getting ready to open this envelope of a prize that Miss Betty and I recently won uh, by entering our contest on Groundskeeper Cody's YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to just cut the top off of this envelope here now, folks. Hopefully you can see that in the video. So I'm using a pair of scissors and I'm being very careful to cut open the top of this envelope to see the contents inside. Okay. Okay, first there's a letter here, and it says, or a postcard kind of thing, and it says, I totally appreciate your support, Effie Gardening, Cody. Smiley face. Thank you. I'll read it to you. It says, I recently had a contest on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, groundskeeper Cody, and you've won. I truly appreciate your interaction and engagement on my channel, and I'm so grateful for your continued support. Enclosed are a few packages of my heirloom seeds for your garden. I hope they bring you as much joy as your presence has brought me. If you're able to, I would really appreciate it if you could share a photo of the seeds or a shout out on your social media platforms. If you think your audience would appreciate hearing about your experience with our contest and our products. However, I completely understand if you're unable to do so. I'm just grateful for your participation in my contest and hope you enjoy your prize. Thank you so much. And Cody sells Carrot Coyote. Uh, carrot, co carrot and Coyote.com is Cody's uh, uh, website where you can actually purchase those heirloom seeds that Cody mentions. I'm going to leave that over to the side and we are now going to open and share with you the contents in this envelope. Okay, look at that. Wow, that is actually awesome. Now, I knew we were going to be winning some seeds, but I didn't think we would win so many packs. Oh my goodness, look at all of that. Coy uh, Carrot Coyote is the brand of seeds that Cody sells. And if you want to check him out, you most certainly should do that. He does have a YouTube channel. And his channel is called Groundskeeper Cody. But Cody also sells carrot coyote seeds, heirloom seeds. And here they are. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many packs there are. One, two, three, four, five. 
uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We won ten different packs of seeds. Now, what are they? I don't, I don't, I don't think they're all carrots, even though it says carrot coyote. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, Ford Hook Lima Bush Beans. Okay, so this is a lima bean. So we want some lima beans. We will plant those, I'm sure, and try that out. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. This one is Laurentian rutabaga, or turnip. Okay, so here's some rutabaga seeds. We will definitely, definitely plant those, because Miss Betty and I, we do love turnips. Okay, let's check this one out. What is this one? Long Island Brussels sprouts. Now, I do not like Brussels sprouts, but Miss Betty do. So, we will definitely try planting those as well. There's three backs. What is this one? Table Queen Squash, a reliable heirloom dating back to 1913. Dark green skins and a pronounced acorn shape or fruit that averages 15 centimeters or six inches in diameter. Okay, so a squash. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna put that there. All right, let's have a look at the next one. My goodness. All right, what is this? Trom, trombo, trombon, cinco, uh, uh, rambling vines with very long, pale green Italian summer squash. So, okay, this is another squash. Uh, Mr. Gary and Miss Betty, we're going to have to do a little bit of researching to figure out these vegetables and these fruits because we have no idea what they are. Tama bird uh, tomato. Bird is green in French, so this is supposed to be a green tomato. Firm, uniform green, as I said, green fruit are, are wrapped in a papery usk that turns from green to tan and splits open as the fruit reaches full size and maturity. Wow, an interesting tomato. Uh, probably going to be planting that in our greenhouse. What's this next one? Early Scarlet Globe Radish, a time-honored favorite, the olive-shaped fruit grow to a medium size of 2.5 centimeters or one inches. Okay, so that's a, a radish. I'll put that there. I'll spread those out in a few minutes, folks, for you to take a look at all of them. And I'll probably do an overhead shot so you can see every single one of them. Okay, so here we have another one. Purple plum radish. It's vibrantly hued, the thin skin encases a bright white flesh. Okay, so another radish. A pack of seeds, lots and lots of seeds here. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, now what is this one? Uh, Radicio di Lucia. I have no idea what this is. Possibly one of the most beautiful vegetables of all. This gorgeous uh, variegated heirloom, Radicio, has incredibly delicious, mild flavor, and delicate delectably crisp texture. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to have to Google that to find out. Put that back there. Here's the last one. Package number 10. Oh my goodness. Ipponiji. Traditional Japanese heirloom vegetables dating back to the Edo period in 17th century Kyoto. This onion, okay, so it's an onion. This onion is technologically a scallion, but they can be large enough to resemble leeks. Wow, quite a variety, quite a variety of seeds that we won from groundskeeper Cody in a contest that we entered. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are most certainly gonna enjoy these seeds. We're gonna be starting these and planting them out in our raised bed garden and some of them in our greenhouse. So there's the package and there's all of the seeds that Miss Betty and Mr. Gary won by just entering a contest on Groundskeeper Cody's YouTube channel. Folks, if you haven't checked Groundskeeper Cody out yet, please go do that. Share, uh, share Cody some love, folks. Share Cody lots and lots of love and tell them that Mr. Gary sent you. If you want to order seeds from Groundskeeper Cody, you most certainly can for your garden this coming growing season. Here you have it, folks. Lots and lots of seeds from 
groundskeeper Cody, and Carrot Coyote. Okay, I want to share with you now the seed contents in each of these envelopes. So let's zoom in and have a closer, closer look. Okay, two different kinds of radishes are right here. Hurley Scarlet Globe Radish and Purple uh, Plum Radish. We also have some rutabagas or turnips. We're gonna be planting all of these seeds and trying them out. Okay, a couple of uh, Japanese style uh, plants here that we're gonna to need to do some Googling and finding them, finding out uh, about those two, two, two seeds. I have no idea, I have no idea what they are. Okay, a couple of squash here. So let's have a look at those. Okay, we have uh, table green squash and trombosis, uh, I'm gonna to try to pronounce it, strombancino squash. Okay, so a couple of squashes and let's keep going. We have some Brussels sprouts there at the top. Okay, Miss Betty will like those. We also have some llama beans and some green tomato seeds. So we're gonna be planting all of that and experimenting with that in our raised bed vegetable garden and greenhouse this coming growing season here at GBL, the old church, five acre homestead. Folks, thank you very much for tuning in today and watching this uh, Friday video, Friday video on our YouTube channel. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all those great, great comments. And folks, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please, please subscribe to GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Mr. Gary, signing out. See you in a future video.